times of desperation, people will believe what they want to believe. And so, we gave them what they wanted to believe. This looks promising. Pleasure to meet you. You ready to get this game going again? Welcome to the celebration. I'm having a good time with you. I'm telling you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Hulk Hogan has made it clear that he's ready and eager to return to the world of professional wrestling. Hogan has been waiting for the right time to make his comeback, as he expressed in a recent interview. For me, I'd love to change that last story that was told with the Hulk Hogan career. I'd love to get back into the fold, get back on the inside and correct a lot of stuff, said Hogan. He added, it has to be the perfect timing for both sides. We're all on good terms. We're all working towards the same goal so hopefully I'll be able to be back with my wrestling family someday soon. Hogan left the professional wrestling world in 2015 after a controversial video surfaced showing him repeatedly using racial slurs. Last week, Time published an interview with model Kate Upton in which she accused guest co-founder Paul Marciano of repeated sexual misconduct, starting on the first day of her professional modeling shoot with the company when she was just 18. And that's why you decided to do it now? Because people were wondering, why the moment? Why right now? Yeah, you know, I was going back and forth about sharing this story because it's always easier to leave things in the past but actually what gave me the push to do it is i did a workout with a lot of new models for fashion week since it was their first fashion week and a lot of girls were sharing how excited they were about the different opportunities they got and and the start of their career and i remember being in that place whenever i got the meeting to go meet with paul marciano and how different my view of the industry after that meeting was. And I wanted to prevent that from happening to the, for these other girls who are just starting out. New York State filed a civil rights lawsuit against the Weinstein Company on Sunday, alleging multiple egregious violations of New York's civil rights, human rights, and business laws. The Attorney General's office said in a statement, the suit filed today in New York County Supreme Court includes new and extensive allegations about longtime company CEO Harvey Weinstein's vicious and exploitative mistreatment of company employees. Ouch. And now, things I've learned from Judge Judy. All rise. But inviting somebody to go to a hot tub with you, inviting them out to a festival, inviting them out to a drink within the first month would sound to me a little bit weird, especially if she's not into you. That's it for things I've learned from Judge Judy. Scientists have invented an electric skin that heals itself and makes more skin. It also senses temperature. And if Harvey Weinstein enters the room, it even begins to crawl. The former Navy SEAL who shot Osama bin Laden doesn't like Donald Trump's plans for a military parade. He's especially concerned about the giant cartoon balloons. L.L. Bean was famous for accepting returns with no questions asked. They've announced that so many people cheat and lie, it has no choice but to stiffen the rules. From now on, you're stuck with something unless Congress votes to impeach it. The third highest ranking official in the U.S. Justice Department resigned to take a job with Walmart. Yeah, she'll head Walmart's ongoing investigation into the case of the missing Skittles. A new poll says Tom Hanks is the favorite celebrity to run for president. A president is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. An elementary public school in Tokyo is introducing a new school uniform designed by Giorgio Armani that sets parents back over $700. My parents wouldn't even cough up the dough for a school picture. A man in Maine single-handedly fought off a bear after it attacked his little puppy. Well, that should certainly get that guy a Valentine's date. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker are at it again. The good news is it means we won't have to worry about another Sex in the City movie. Hey, mean girls, nobody gives a f***. In the state of Kansas, six kids are running for governor. Their names are easy to remember. Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, and Cindy. Marsha, 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 nobody gives a f***. 
And no cars allowed. The state of Georgia is considering a highway just for trucks. Social justice groups are outraged claiming discrimination against cars that identify as trucks. Hey, highways, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Frank D'Angelo and his kick-ass 15-piece band in concert at the Lincoln Alexander Theater in Hamilton, Saturday, February 24th. For ticket information, please go to frankdangelo.ca.